So the spinal cord is basically a highway. So as different parts of your brain will allow you to perform different tasks like movement or thinking or language, as it comes down in, from your brain into your brain stem and into your spinal cord, all of these fibers, all these pathways converge into one main highway. And that goes through your spinal cord. So as it goes through your spinal cord, this signal has to make its way to different muscles to allow you to move. And if there's an interruption of that signal, an interruption in that highway, like a traffic accident, that results in everything distal to that, everything away from that not working anymore. So this is a model of the spinal cord. This is the lumbar spine or the bottom of the spinal cord. And you can see each of the individual bones of the lumbar spine, which is the bottom part of the spine. And you can see how the, the, each vertebrae covers the del very delicate structure in the middle called the spinal cord. And so during a spinal cord injury, one of the bones or several of the bones are broken or fractured. And in surgery, we will fix these fractured bones to make everything stable so it doesn't move anymore. And we can decompress the spinal cord, but we can't actually fix the injury to the spinal cord itself, just the bones that are overlying it. That's why it's so important to prevent these injuries from happening.